Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we, well, we were trying to more or less shrink this hole here of territories that I have not claimed. We managed to do it mainly in this area, but we still have to do this section. And also, we kicked the behinds of the Sotharian entity pretty good. So now at this point, they're on their way out as a society. Technically, more or less. So um, when it comes to everything else, we'll just need to, well, see how it goes. For right now though, we're just uh, moving on best we can do just keep on moving all right i have a ship here doing that moving to the cedar uh system to build a star base oh i have it on the slow setting no wonder it's going so slow <laughs> that explains a bit all right and then you after that oh oh the situation on Aurora has spiraled out of control. A staggering number of inhabitants are now infected with whatever is causing this feral diluge, and the colony has started to break down because of it. Something needs to be done or Aurora will be lost. Well, then do something! New sit rep. Okay, I forgot about that. There was a situation on Aurora that was going very badly. Also, we're working on fixing the Plex Gridonian uh, intake that we got into the more genetic, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The genetically superior one that we have, uh, it within our own system. So the feral overload, we're going to be rooting out the problem. It's high time to investigate what's causing the strange and destructive behavior of the Aurora colony. Well, I guess we kind of have to now. Especially since it seems to be Construction spiraling complete. out of control. Where are you going? Oh, you're going over there. Oh no, you're not done yet. You're not done yet. What made you think you were done? No, no, you still you still got work to do. You're working over here now. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, ancient mining droids are sitting right there. How did I manage to scan this place? And then, how did I manage to scan this with the mining droids here? How did it? Nah, it doesn't matter. It's weird, but it doesn't matter. Where are you going right now? You're going to over here for ship upgrades. Okay, makes sense. Uh, in that case, let's send the war form over here. Um to deal with these guys because clearly they need to be dealt with and I'm not sure why they weren't previously. That's weird. Actually, you know what? Let's send in Wraith. Wraith will be able to handle it a lot better. So, send Wraith in and we'll have them New species variant available. These guys. Um, also have them set to Special aggressive. project complete. Savage Spores. The investigation of the strange and wild behavior current, currently, <laughs> geez, currently besetting Aurora has been completed. In the vast network of cave tunnels that permeates the planet's crust, an enigmatic fungus has been found. It grows all over the caves, floor, walls, ceiling, and stretches out for thousands of miles. The fungus frequently releases spores that are vented out of the caves for what purpose has not been established, but we know for certain that it causes primitive behavior in our species, releasing primal urges within. We can try to find a useful application of this phenomenon, or we can exterminate the fungus altogether. Uh, we could exterminate them entirely or try and use them. Hmm. I'm kind of curious how using them will turn out. 
But on the same hand, I'm also kind of concerned if it's overtaking my species that much to just completely break them down to basic instincts. That is worrisome <laughs> in more ways than one. So... If I let the fungus live, more likely than not, the fungus would be used in a military application. Or I could just get rid of them entirely. I'm curious if there's anything useful that can be done about it. Let's see if we can use them for our own ends. New sit rep. See if there's a military application that can be done. Oh! The Numa have finally come through again. Alright. Let's see what they got. Artifacts. Sure. Why not? Let's make a deal. It's just alloys. I don't need alloys that badly. What is this about? Oh, no! Governor Turk, son of Milv, has died. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's see. Hmm. Did... What does Dawnlight currently need? Not much. Ancient mining site. Dust desert. Odd factory. Numa's breath. There's not much that Dawnlight needs, per se. So, I don't need either of these. A retired fleet officer might be nice. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure. It's a good idea, I think. Kind of. Alright. We've finished the modifications. Nice. Don't need that. Uh, there's two new things on the galactic community docket. Let's see. Minor economic sanctions. Sure. Let's go with that. And it looks like Repeal Military Readiness Act. No. No. Nuh uh. No. I don't care what you. I don't care what you want with that. Ain't gonna happen. Alright. Other than that, um. Wait a minute. Did I ever. No, I never dealt with this either. Interesting. And this is disconnected from the entirety. Okay, this is the Mestros wormhole. That would lead to this, I'm sure. Okay, but we'll do that next. All right. Tianki Matriarch. Okay. Hmm. Got to double check something real quick. We have resolution wise. We have that going, don't we? Yes, we have the Tianki Conservation Act. Fair enough. All right. Um we could repeal it. Or we could just let it be. And if we let it be, then no one will take this spot because no one wants to mess with the Tianki. Otherwise, they'd be in breach of galactic law and it just goes bad for them. So we're not going to do that. Um, we'll, however, send the fleet to deal with them after they're done with their upgrades. So just got to wait for the second Imperial Strike Force to do that. And then we'll be good. I think. Maybe. Possible. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. I get you. Give me a second. Okay. So we're going to try and find out if we can utilize the cave mushrooms. Try to find ways to use the primal effects of the cave mushrooms to our benefit. 
All right, sounds good. The mega cannon is finished. Nice. And where do we go after that? I wonder. Mm, let's go with the cheaper stuff, huh? Like uh, mineral purification. Why not? Might be worth it. Maybe. Optimal processing of mined materials has allowed us, have allowed us, to reach new levels of efficiency. It allows us also the mining subsidy, which is an edict focused on administrative effort to reprioritize and reevaluate production goals, yielding a boost to mining output. Which is, you know, kind of good, I guess. Little. Ah, the curators. Asking to, uh, well, re really just giving us an opportunity to extend our deal, not really asking us if we want to. Although, technically both work. Anyway, moving on. Yes, I want that. Cool. Construction complete. And where were you again? We're down here. Okay, cool. In that case, you do that. Finish up those mining things. And then move here. And I guess don't make a star base because I don't have enough yet. So go back to special project complete. Go back to the space station you're next to. Hmm. Industrial facilities have been built over the outlets of for the fungus infested cave systems. Apart from filtering and regulating the spread of spores, these plants can also convert any excess spore clouds into useful exotic gases. Which allows for, apparently, a gas plant engineer per 20 pops. Interesting. Constant source of jobs as the population increases, that's good. The population growth is increased as the somewhat randy inhabitants of Aurora satisfy their urges more frequently. Which, unfortunately, also means that the level of violence and conflict is somewhat higher on Aurora. Fair enough, that's the price of progress, I guess. <sighs> well, at least the colony is more or less under control. <sighs> I do say more or less. Okay. Mm so let's build a district each construction Go complete with that. and you're done there good build the mining stations and then you can go back to bead that sounds good to me all right moving on we'll just continue stretching out and using wraith to deal with Science Division Them. reports a new breakthrough. Construction really? complete. Interesting. Uh, I will also have them deal with them, but that will be later. So, attack them, then attack the station. And then attack them, and then attack the station. Good. Looks good for me. Um... They're not done yet, are they? They're almost halfway. That's good. What do we got going on here? The glandular acclimation research is now completed, finally. Through glandular biological tailoring, we can change the environmental tolerance of a species to suit our needs. Always nice. Very nice. Um, hmm. What's the cheapest? That will also be useful. Uh, interstellar warfare? That'd be good. Gradual adaptation to the realities of deep sea, a uh, deep sea, deep space combat allows us to effectively coordinate larger maneuvers. Sounds good to me, and useful. Um, the Marath Starbase. Where were you again? I forget. There you are, right there. Good. Well, we'll build the anchorage there. And a hangar bay. That works. And we will put a naval logistics office there so we get more out of those anchorages. 
looks good to me. All right, cool. Actually, you know what? Ow, oh, I don't have enough for another upgrade. Damn. Doug Dimadam, owner of the Dimsdale Dimadam. All right. But we'll sell that. So I don't need that much. Uh, sell that because I don't need that much. Food is a problem, though. Don't make enough food. Well, we'll get that fixed with Aurora, I think. Once we get all of those things made. Spore vents. Allows gas engineer jobs. And then one, another Science one Division per reports a new breakthrough. Pops. That ain't terrible. That ain't terrible. Mineral purification is complete, which means we move on to nano separators. Because boy, do we need alloys. Oh boy, do we need alloys. All right. Okay. Wraith is almost to construction the contact complete. Contact point. Good. Opening the L cluster. Our scientists are now confident that our knowledge of the L gates and the technology behind them is sufficient to abort their maintenance cycle. If the attempt is successful, the L gate and the Miklor's vortex system should allow immediate access to the just distant L cluster. As the maintenance cycle ends, any additional L gates in the galaxy will likely also become operational within a matter of years, as their self-correcting software readjusts. Still, this will give us a significant head start to explore the cluster without interference. Prepare the project. Rough. Let's do it. Since L gate activation is now done. Perfect. Um, let's move on. What should we move on to? Um, sapient combat simulations? Or neutron launchers? Well, neutron launchers would be nice. Uh, sapient combat simulations sip was what I was about to say. Then I almost corrected to simp simulations, which is worse. <laughs> Uh, sapient combat simulations. Running sapient AIs through high-intensity combat simulations yields, yields valuable insight into potential optimizations for risk evaluation techniques. Exploiting our sapient AI's sense of self-preservation or fear of death should greatly enhance its responsiveness in combat. Well, I mean, sure. I mean, it might help that. It's a little messed up, but it might help. Just a little. All right. Ships refitted. Perfect. They're done. Which means I send them over to Dathana here. And then finish up all their crap. With, uh... Dealing with those space amoebas. I just wanted to make sure they were set to aggressive. Okay. Well, so far so good. They're sending a whole bunch of ships through. Oh, it's a Spuxalac. Okay, that's fine. Spuxalac have a whole group going through my system here. That's annoying. I mean, I get it, but it's also still annoying. Has they did what? They They broke They broke the law They willingly Broke the law You're kidding They had no problems Just Breaking it Science division reports a new breakthrough I um I am amazed I am utterly amazed. They just... They just did it. They didn't even care. They didn't even care. Wow. Um... Okay. <laughs> um... Hmm. You're the closest. <laughs> Actually, technically you are too. 
you go and survey the system. You're pretty close, I guess. You survey the system, and, um, wow. Okay. The nano separators is completed. Nano separators are a revolutionary new step in the creation of alloys, simplifying the casting process while improving overall production quality. Good. Well, in that case, let's move on to improved cruiser hulls. That would be nice. Yeah, let's do that. That being, advances in building underway. techniques will allow for the construction of sturdier and more durable cruisers. Which is always nice. Cool. Wraith did good work there. And then I'm gonna destroy the station. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Engaging enemy station. Cool. Done. Beautiful. Interstellar warfare is completed. Nice. Hmm. Xeno relations. Two would be nice. I just don't know if I want to go that route or do the interstellar economics thing. It would add a lot more jobs, that's for sure. As we journeyed into the cosmos and ventured beyond our home system, we also entered a new era of economics. New markets are appearing at a startling rate. And they, they missed the at in there as well. I just kind of finished it for them. And economic theorists are struggling to keep up. Well, might as well try and help it along. And the first fleet is now complete. And they're done with their thing, so they're heading back. Cool. All right. Fair enough. Debris and ruin them. Huh. Governor Dai Hu has now developed the Archilectric architectural interest architectural yeah that's right uh cool good to know makes it easier to pay for other things um head back actually you know what head over to em pretty sure em has yes it does okay they also can be upgraded which would be nice but not quite there yet Let's check on the planets, huh? Let's upgrade the alloy forges. Oh. Uh, it requires a planetary capital. Okay. Well, I'll do the civilian fabricators then. Get that done. Get this one done here. Perfect. And that's not done yet. I could do this. Sure, why not? Let's build another set of districts. That'll work. That'll be good. Um, you are still heading over to Sethelback. You're just sitting here. Why do you do that? Aha. Huh. Okay, now it's registering that the Spuxalak are in breach of galactic law. All right. Can I actually look that up elsewhere? Because if that's something I can go after, or something... Um, as a as a truce with the Cetharian entity until then. Okay. Interesting. Um, belligerent. No. Okay. They now have research sanctions levied against them because of what they did. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I guess it won't tell me any more other than that. 
Huh. Your economic power is overwhelming compared to ours, really. That's something new to know, I guess. Construction Alrighty. complete. Ooh, it's done. Nice. And I can now upgrade it as well. Fantastic. All right. Wraith is almost done with their work there. Fantastic. So after it's all done, I will have them go back to... Not bead. Oh, why bead? Be silly. That's silly. No, absolutely not. No, you go back to the main capital system there, Stray. The what? Rare Crystals is now going down? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. Um, <laughs> well, let's try and fix that, shall we? Uh, you're there. How about you? You're there. Okay. Oh. I forgot that the Stellar Devourer is right there. Alright, well, we'll focus on that later. But for right now, let's send you here to build the outpost there. That way we Science can get division. some of that crystal. a new breakthrough. Some of those crystals, rather. Get all that taken care of. The what? Spuxalak want to declare war on the Commonwealth of Man again. Fine. Go ahead. Do it. As far as I care, I don't honestly care that much. Wow, okay. Uh, interstellar economics is done. Beautiful. Um, selected lineages. Interesting. Then there's also an idyllic architecture, which is cheaper by far. With the latest advances in architecture, landscaping, and holographic technology, technology, blah, 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 we shall build the homes of the future. Sure. I'm all for that. Science division reports a new And then that gets done. Fantastic. Where do we go from here, then? Um, I don't want to do advanced afterburners. That's silly. How about flak artillery? Sure. I'm okay with that. And that is predictive tracking algorithms and even more powerful rounds make these batteries incredibly lethal to enemy strike craft. Well, that wins <laughs> that wins me over. Let's go. Hell yeah. Whoop. The minor administrative sanctions passed. Beautiful. Then Economic sanctions is next, and that will further screw over the Spuxalac Nation. <laughs> Not much we can do about that. Alright. Cool. They are now at war, and as long as they don't try to trespass on my property, they can just fight it out all the damn well, please. I don't care. Just don't trespass on my stuff. If they trespass on myself, Spuxalac, I'm blaming you, and I'm also kicking you out. How did we... How did we go to that much consumed? Science Division reports a new breakthrough. 58. Jesus. All right. Sapient Combat Simulations is done. Beautiful. So I guess we move on to... Well, I mean, we could do those. But... To be fair, the jump drive will take a lot less. It unlocks the feature of jump drive travel and unlocks the component for jump drive, which makes sense. All right. A groundbreaking new technological marvel. The jump drive shreds the local space-time continuum and rearranges it on the quantum level to be identical to that of the target destination. And thus the ship appears to near instantly jump from system to system. It allows the initiate jump fleet action, which allows jump drive equipped 
fleets to near instantly jump to any system in range, ignoring hyperlanes entirely. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Let's do it. I don't see why not. Plus, it's almost done anyway, so why not? Even more reason to do it. All right, everything now needs an upgrade again. System of reconnaissance it does. completed. And cool. Ships refitted. Wait, first you do that, then you do the upgrade. All right. Uh oh. They're done there. Uh oh. Not good. Um, have them do that, and then that. Better. And then we'll have them work on there. That works a little bit. And which one's closer? Speed. You go over here now. Get that taken care of now. I don't want them claiming that before we get there. Interesting. Ketling Star Pack entered a research agreement with the United Nations of Earth. Cool. I love hearing that. All right. Science division and they're reports done. Reports a new breakthrough. Beautiful. Now you can go back and upgrade. All right. Idyllic architecture completed. Nice. Um, local hyper communication would also be nice. It's also very cheap. And again, so is hydroponics. It would get it out of the way, just so I don't have to keep looking at it. That's nice. Hydroponics farming is in a controlled environment. Allows for crops to be grown in climates where farming would normally be impossible. And a hydroponics bay on starbases as well. By dedicating a section of this starbase to hydroponic farming, the station will be able to feed itself and even export excess produce to other systems. Which, uh, I guess is kind of okay. It isn't necessary, but it would be okay. Kind of nice. All right. And then we have you do the research there and then survey the system. Construction complete. That'll work. All right. You're done. Beautiful. Which means you get all of that taken care of and then head right back. Cool. That Science works for me. Reports what a new breakthrough. Oh, the Sutherian entity decided to insult us. Our mental network is vast, giving us access to thoughts and ideas from every corner of our empire. But not a single entity has ever been seen anything that would lend merit to your tragic existence. Ooh, got him. Shut up. Get out of here. The jump drive is now completed. Uh, perfect. Perfect. All right, um, let's move on to neutron launchers, which is upgraded energy projectiles that rely on neutrons instead of protons for their destructive power. Hell yeah. And Science division reports a new breakthrough. Are you Ships already refitted. set up to be like the other fleets? Yes, you are. You also need a home base, which we will fix. I just don't know where I want to set you. Um, hmm. Where should I put you? EM? Yeah, let's have you on EM. That works. That works for me. All right. And... Nah. We won't do that quite yet. Uh, we will move you to EM right now. Fantastic. Oh! Research for Society is done. The hydroponics farming. Blah. I can't talk today. I apologize. All right. Um... drinking some of my tea hopefully to help me talk um subdermal stimulation deep ish deep tissue 
Implants are the latest innovation in the revolutionary overlapping of sensory engineering and entertainment experiences. Where we're going, we won't need skin to feel. Allows us to set the chemical bliss living standard. Hmm. Interesting. But, uh... It's also cheap and quick. So why not? Let's do it. At least gets it out of the way. Um, hmm. Market-wise, let's sell some of the excess minerals we have. And then buy some more alloys with that extra money. And then sell more of those. Because I don't need that many. And then I guess buy some of these. Just to keep the stock up. Because uh, we're running low. Currently still. With our inability to bring in rare crystals. Currently. Which reminds me. Um, I want to change them to that. Just so that's fixed. But also, I wanted to check what was colonizable and also had some certain features. Um, that was Kriskim. Okay. Um, go to you. And let's look at you. What do you have as a planetary feature? A dust desert. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. Rigor 2. What about you? You have another dust desert. Again, not what I'm looking for. Fontral 3. Fontral 3 has metal bone yards. What is metal bone yards? Interesting. Also, not what I'm looking for, but still. Tatanga 2 has dust caverns. Still not what I'm looking for. Uh, Stratal has two things, but is also a tomb world. I'll have to terraform it pretty hard. It has crystalline caverns and Batharian fields. And it's also a big-ass planet. Hmm. I don't see any problems there. Let's do it. Just have to terraform it. Unless there's something going on in this system. Stratal? No, I don't think there is. We'll just terraform it straight to a continental world. Beautiful. It'll just take a little while. It's not like I haven't done that before. Okay. I'll have to wait for that to be done. Sayama 2. What is up with Sayama 2? They also have a, they also have a dust desert. Blech. I can talk. Just not today. Alright, uh looks like. Looks like that's all good. For now. Once we expand to some of these other systems, we'll check their planets and see if they have anything crystal wise. Which would be nice to have that coming in. Um, hmm. What should I do here? Camelot. Hmm. What was that weak magnetic field? Just impacts the habitability and growth speed. All right. Um, in that case, that's all it affects. Hmm. What should I put here then? Growth speed is lowered. Should I put clone vats? No, that might be silly. Gene clinics would be nice would allow for amenities and population growth speed to increase just by having medical workers. Yeah, that might be good, actually. Let's do that. Gene clinics would be nice. Construction complete. Oh, yeah? Science division reports a new breakthrough. Perfect. It's done. So let's build more of those and build... A deep space black site. 
A large part of this starbase has been set aside as a black site that does not officially exist. The entire system is closely monitored from here, while intelligence operatives carefully manipulate local media and social events to the best of their ability. I mean, it'd be a little messed up. But just look at what I get out of it. I get extra attraction to the governing ethics of our society. Plus five stability. It's pretty nice. That's all in Marath. Where Marath, I think, has the problem child Aurora, doesn't it? No, it has Acropolis. Still, the, 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 the point stands. <laughs> the point stands. Oh, Aurora's in Biha. Well. The planet's still okay. It's still okay, even with that weird little problem of, you know, the lesser evil. <laughs> Happiness just lowers a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. There we go. See? Distrib distribute luxury goods. Well, I could do that. But we're just going to expand the planet instead. Um, hmm. Let's make some more districts, huh? I think that's a good idea. Oh, the research. Almost forgot. Research is done. Uh, the data from Uzzara. Oh, that was, that was the place. So then they're heading to ruin them and finishing that one. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, mining drone lasers is 10% complete, plus extra of all the other stuff. Cool. Uh, let's see, what should I go with next? Advanced cruiser hulls would be cheap. Not as cheap as replicator kiosks, though. Mm, let's just go with advanced cruiser hulls. The latest generation of cruiser hulls has have optimized structural integrity fields and improved bulkheads. Let's go with it. Can't say no to that. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Anyway... Imperial Strike Force again needs to get upgraded. Oy. Construction Every time. complete. Every time. Uh, let's Science see. division Cancel. reports a new breakthrough. And then go to upgrade. We have traditions available. The Senate floor is in session on the minor economic sanctions. That's good. And even with the Spuxalak against it, it's not going to be enough. They're still going to lose unless these guys go with them. But the Commonwealth of Man, they're currently at war with. They won't want to. And I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about the other ones. I don't know about the Themoid Conclave. But they might lose this. They might lose this. And it's funny to me. Subdermal stimulation is now finished. Uh, let's go with automated curation algorithms. Continuous asynchronous analysis of disparate of disparate data sets allows for the accurate modeling of hitherto unpredictable fluctuations in social currents. Sure, why not? It's cheap, it's quick. Might as well do it. Scientist Rufilwe Bankale has died at the age of 140. Wow, you lived for a long time. It's been an honor, sir. All right. So let's move on to Fall the Daughter of Setu and have you help research here. There we go. That works out. It's been an honor. Get rid of that. And we now have enough for a tradition of... The build cost and build speed upgrades for buildings and districts. As technology advances and becomes ever more complex, new demands are placed on our workforce. 
By using standardized construction templates, our workers can build things without necessarily having to understand the finer points. That works. That works for me. All right. Cool. Uh, nice. They got there just in time. Fantastic. Which means they can build that and then head over to not there. That's not what I meant. <sighs> well. Just build the studio. Construction complete. Studio. Build the stations. Build the mining stations and then head to Sibaran. There we go. All right. Um, they're done there. Fantastic. Which means they're heading back to Riador. Nice. Fantastic. Just what I like to hear and see. Okay. Well, we're doing pretty good so far. We are slowly but surely closing this gap here. We have now dealt with some of our enemies that would impede our progress secured. in continuing on. And pretty soon, we'll take those spots. Hey! Alejandro Solano has now earned the meticulous trait. Ships Good refitted. Good to see. All right, you know what? <laughs> Screw it. Just go back. Just go back to the main base. Go back to Straya. All right. Because the other two fleets will be over in Eum. Construction complete. Which should send them over to Ea already. Um, let's see. Let's put a trickster at the helm. The Plexgridonian trickster. Sure, why not? They're part of our empire. They've earned the right. Uh, and also, let's have them reinforce the fleet. That's a good idea. As much as they can, anyway. A new ascension perk. I keep forgetting to do this because we just did the glandular acclimation thing. Which means now we can make the one big thing that I was waiting to finally get. Evolutionary mastery. Natural evolution was always shaped by a single crude tool. Failure. Only now may we define success. Gene modification points plus three. Modify species special project cost, negative 25%. And we now gain genetic resequencing as a research option. Gone are the days when the survival of our species was at the mercy of chance. When a Phelan's fate was decided on the whims of nature in the genetic lottery. The engineers of our time work not in steel and concrete, but the very building blocks of life itself. With advanced gene modification, we will secure the future of our nation. Excellent. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Get rid of all diseases ever. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. All right. So far, so good. Food is now on the increase. Beautiful. I love to see it. You love to see it. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh. Automated curation algorithms is finished. Nice. Psionic theory. Empire, empire sprawl from population is decreased. That's enough reason to get into that. Personally, I think, anyway. The mind is in many ways a reflection of the universe itself. A microcosmos. All species may not reach this insight, but their minds are tools greater than any other. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do it. And we're also way over time, so it's also time to end the episode. So that's what we're going to do. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so it can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and focusing on closing the gaps per usual. And also, more or less, just 
taking care of the enemies within our own territory. We will eventually deal with the stellar devourer here. Uh, but I want to make sure all my fleets are up to their tippy tippy top sort of shape before we do that. Just need to make sure we get there first. And uh, yeah, we'll just work off of that from there for you.